here i am going to show you how to design single phase full wave bridge rectifier in matlab simulink software for this first drag the required component into your model here the required components for your project are available in power systems library in the power systems library go to the power electronics under this power electronics the main components the main component is thyristor you drag that one and in in the elements you drag one series rlc bands for your load element and you drag one ac voltage source from the electrical source and uh, you drag current measurement and uh, voltage measurement to measure output voltage and current and the input voltage and also drag the power grid down it is uh, very important to work with the uh, uh, simple system models you drag that one and after that go to the uh, simulink library in simulink library enter into the commonly used blocks in this commonly used blocks we drag some score block we required uh, to observe the output voltage output quantities and input quantities and go to the source library in the source library drag one pulse generator it is required to do triggering pulses to the thyristor and uh, one more thing is under this uh, signal routing to drag from block and go to block by the use of these two blocks we can make our circuit model more clear visible okay after that you arrange these components in proper way here it is which one rotate this one for a single phase or full wave bridge rectifier we need uh, um, four SCRs, SCR1, 2, 3, and 4. We connect them. Like this. And after take a connector AC voltage source across this bridge and take a load element first I am taking resistive element and give me some value 10 volt 10 volt Simply use load and along with this load, we connect the current measurement block in series to measure the load current. And uh, now connect the voltage measurement block across this load element to observe our output voltage. The same way to observe input voltage, we connect one more measurement block across the input source voltage. And here we need four pulse generator. Pulse generator one, pulse generator two, three, and four. You can just four pulse generator. 
at the gate terminal of the SCR. Now here you observe that the operation of this bridge rectifier. Here we are giving AC supply. Uh, means sine wave we are giving. The supply of the AC is sine wave. It has positive half cycle and negative half cycle. During positive half cycle, ACR, the current will flow through high resistor 1, means switch S1 and through low and S2 and reaches to the negative terminal of the AC source. And during the negative half cycle, the current flows through S3 and after that through load, load element, after that through switch S4 and reaches the positive terminal of the AC system. Means during positive half cycle, switch S1 and switch S2 are in conduction. During negative half cycle, switch S3 and switch S4 are in conduction. Means the triggering pulses for switch S1 and switch S2 are same and the triggering pulses for switch S3 and switch S4 are same. Here I give triggering pulses first for S1 that is P1 first generator P1 the period amplitude you take any value the period I am taking for one cycle one cycle means 50 heads uh, uh, frequency 50 heads the time required for one cycle is in seconds that is 20 milliseconds means uh, you can write in seconds 0 0.02 seconds that is 1 by 50 means 20 milliseconds that is 0 0.02 seconds 0 0.02 seconds only. pulse width you can give, you give any value the phase delay the delay what phase delay you want whether it is 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees what the phase delay you want you can give here i am giving 60 degrees you can give uh, 60 degrees angle in terms of time 0 0.0033 means for 360 degrees uh, the time is 0 0.02 seconds in the same way for 60 degrees 0 0.0033 sorry 0 0.0033 same way here switch S2 also for switch S2 also the triggering pulses are same 0 0.02 0 0.0033 0 and here during negative half cycle the switch S3 and the switch S4 are in conduction now give the triggering pulses to the switch S3 and S4 see amplitude will take any value period is 0 0.02 second and uh, pulse width you can take any value and phase delay here negative half cycle starts at 180 degrees and phase delay is 60 degrees 180 plus 60 is 240 degrees you can give 240 degrees in seconds 0 0.0133 Sorry. 0 0.0133 here the triggering pulses for S4 also say 0 0.02 0 0.0133 okay here here I am using to observe the wave shape of the output output uh, voltage output current input voltage and the pulses i'm using uh, from and go to blocks these two blocks will make our circuit more uh, clear more clear uh, visually it makes more clear visually it, play, it makes more clear here i'm using for uh, pulse generator 1 and 2, both are same. That's why I am using here only one go to block. And for P3 and P4, uh, pulse, uh, pulses are same. That's why I am using only one go to block here. And you can use one go to block to observe output current, and one go to block to observe output voltage, and one go to block to observe input current input voltage here total five five outputs you have to observe then you five
the connector five See here some name for this one I am giving E1 and here you P3 this is the input voltage this is output voltage This is output current. And here on the from block, just update tab and select which uh, which one you want to observe. Suppose here first time observe I want uh, input voltage. Just select second one and update tags and select output voltage I want to observe. And the next here, select update tab and output current. I want to update it here. Here, update tags and the select P1. And here, update tags and the select P3. Okay, now everything is ready. And I'll just give simulate supply 230 volts and 50 hertz supply. I can give and the register value I think is given already 10 volts and everything is ready. Give some simulation time using 0 0.1 simulator. So you observe the nature. This is the input voltage, this is output voltage, output current, uh, pulse generator, uh, pulses for uh, 61 and 62 and the pulses for 63 and 64. Yellow uh, yellow color pulses indicates uh, for uh, 61 and 62 and the blue color pulses for 63 and 64. Okay, yellow color pulses for positive off cycle and the blue color pulses for negative off cycle. Here I have given resistive load. That's why the output voltage and the output current both are in phase. Okay, now suppose if you change uh, the load from resistive load to uh, resistive plus inductive load means RL load. Here I am giving some value 0 0.1, some inductance I am giving. And now simulate it. See here, observe the output wave shapes. See this is input voltage, this is uh, output voltage and output current. These are the pulses. See here, once you give the triggering pulses at 60 degrees, immediately during the positive half cycle, positive half cycle, thyristor 1 and thyristor 2 comes into conduction. After reaching 180 degrees, the actually the conduction has to shift if you compare the previous uh, resistive load. The conduction has to shift from T1, T2 to T3, T4. But here I am using inductive load. Because of this inductive load, inductor has some storage capacity. It stores the energy during this past two half cycle. That stored energy is more than compared to the source energy. Whatever the energy is stored in the inductor, that energy is more than compared to the input energy so that the inductor will act as a source and it will continue the conduction through this T1 and T2 until the energy stored in the inductor comes below the source energy. Once the energy of inductor, stored energy of the inductor comes below the uh, source energy then immediately the conduction shift from T1, T2 to T3, T4. Here again this T3 and T2 
are in conduction up to this 360 degrees here. Once 360 degrees reach, again because of that load element, inductive element in the load, again it will act as a source. Why? Because the stored energy in the inductor is more than compared to source energy. So that it will continue conduction until to this point. At this point, the energy of inductor will is below the energy of the source. So that again the conduction shift from T3, T4 to T1, T3. Again the process is continued for the remaining cycle. So here the current you observe the current ratio. From the circuit if you observe, see here during this uh, uh, this uh, inductor is having storage capacity because of that it will continue the conduction means voltage is getting reversed here the polarity of the inductor will get reversed previously during path of cycle while it is storing energy that time here the plus and here is the minus and uh, during the inductor is acting as the source that time it will change the polarity means plus minus to minus plus so that the supply voltage is reversed but the current direction is same the current direction is same that's why if you observe the here the wave shape the current is only in positive here you observe the voltage is negative and positive but voltage polarity is changing but the current direction through the load is same direction that's why the current is positive only suppose the this wave shape you can make you can reduce these pulses by give, by changing the value of inductor see here here i have given 0 0.1 suppose you give 5 uh, 5 henry you know, simulate it so you can give some simulation time 10 you can observe more clearly See here. So you can reduce so the current we are getting by changing the value of inductance, we can get the output current more constant. See here. See output current is getting constant based on by changing the value of the uh, inductor, you can get the output current is constant value. Okay, thank you very much.